knew that Phaedra Park was this messy girl. Wow. I know um, Kenya Moore spoke about it on her interview with Carlos King. How Phaedra, um, you know, she considered her a friend and she confided in her something and she used it against her. And also how Phaedra was representing Walter when Walter was going around doing and doing slanderous interviews uh, regarding Kenya. So it was Phaedra and um, Walter in cahoots trying to take her down. Now we see where Candy did her um, YouTube show speak on it. And there is a part in it where they're talking about Phaedra, how the fans want her and Phaedra to make up. And she's like, she's not going to do it. So I'm going to read an article to you from the Atlanta Black Star online that um, covered that part of the interview a little bit. And you're going to hear about some of the things that Phaedra has done to Candy. And it's not just one, you know, so let's read it. So the, the, the article topic says, I don't owe her, mm, fill that in because you can't on YouTube, you know, you can't use profanity and stuff. So I don't owe her stuff. Candy Burry says she will never have a conversation with ex-friend Phaedra Parks for starting nasty dungeon rumor about her and Portia William despite fans' requests. Remember she was saying that oh, she had a dungeon in her house and Phaedra was part of her um, her little crew that she did. And Candy, like she said, I turned a shade tree into a money tree where she actually used that rumor and she opened her adult um, toys line. So... She used that rumor and opened her adult toy line and it's doing really well. So let's get into the interview. It says, um, or the article I should say, it says, Candy Burris has no plan to extend an olive branch to her friend turned nemesis, Phaedra Parks. The two women had a conten contentious falling out during the season nine reunion of the Real Housewives of Atlanta when it was revealed that the attorney was behind a rumor alleging that Burris and her husband Todd Tucker planned to drug and sex drug and SA Portia Williams. Williams famously confronted Burris about the dungeon claims, but throughout the season the cast was left in the dark about from whom or where Williams got the false story. During the reunion, the Go Naked Hair Company founder admitted that Parks, her friend, had told her about the claims. The Southern Belle played coy and insisted that she did not know the slanderous gossip was untrue and that she was only trying to help Williams. After the controversy, Parks was not asked to return to the franchise. But fans have hoped that she and Burris would one day make amends. The Grammy-winning songwriter feels differently. I don't want her stuff, and I don't want to say, and I would say that to anybody, not a MF thing i don't owe her stuff she will never get stuff from me said burris during an episode of speak on it with jay you can def you can't defend yourself against blatant lies or people who are so spiteful that will make up anything to tear you down and then hide that's true can't defend yourself against a lie it says, despite viewers feeling they were robbed of one last conversation regarding the lie, Burris was adamant that she had nothing else to say. The entrepreneur further claimed her ex-friend may have played a role in delaying the opening of her and Tucker's second restaurant, Blaze Steak and Seafood. In 2021, the establishment struggled to open its doors due to a failed inspection and issues with obtaining its liquor license. At the Real House of Atlanta reunion, Park asked how things were going with the restaurant. When she said that, when she did that, I knew that she had something to do with it because she was cool with the person who had to sign off on the license, explained Burris. Social media users, however, share a wide range of opinions on the women's severed friendship. Candy went low and then Phaedra went to hell, wrote one person about jabs each of, each of the women through that season. She said, I see you. We see each other. We good, wrote a second user. 
A third person said, but Candy can hang with Portia, make it make sense. And a fourth commented, after those allegations, Candy don't even have to speak to Portia again, period. Which I agree with. In past interviews, Parks had likened Real Housewives of Atlanta to a sinking ship and expressed that she had no interest in making a return. She instead she instead is joining season 10 of Bravo's other popular series, Married to Medicine, which returns this fall. Yes. So yes, Portia, I mean, uh, Phaedra, she really tried to destroy Candy. We also saw where she tried to destroy um, Kenya. And I'm like, wow, is she really that vindictive? I know she's an attorney and that's part of their job to tell lies to get their their clients out of stuff. But my goodness. So Candy in that interview, I listened to part of it. She said she thought she would, um, you know, they'll keep their rivalry on the show. But when Phaedra went on to tell lies that would destroy her businesses, that's when she realized this woman is dangerous and I can't mess with her. So therefore, I don't know how to separate the two. So for me not to have to do the separation, I just won't deal with her at all. But yeah, she went in to let us know. And I'm sure other people are going to come out from the show with stuff that Phaedra have done to them. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I know they have rivalry, but I thought it was just for, you know, what's on the show. But it seems like they really got beef beef. <laughs> so yeah, that's what Candy said regarding being friends again with Phaedra. She said it will never happen. Guys, never happen. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't either. Leave her alone. Like she said, we see each other. We see each other good. Like Candy said to Nini, yeah, we see each other. All right, guys, thank you for listening. That was the article. I'm going to leave the link to the article down below if you want to read it for yourself. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more celebrity news, celebrity gossip, behind the scenes stuff. And until next time, be sure to take care of yourselves and your families. Okay, bye-bye.